Assalamu alaikum my dear brothers and sisters today we are going to discuss about a topic in which we are going to learn about the three person the first three people who were going to be admitted in the jahannam on the day of resurrection on the day of judgment allah rabbul izzat will order his angels to put these three people into the fire into the fire of the hell now we must think and we must ponder upon who are these three people what they have done actually in this world because of that they are going to be the first the prime time i can say the prime time will be there the first people will be going to be admitted in jahannam at the prime time of the judgment day the first three person who are going to be these people let's discuss this one in a hadith of tirmizi hadith number 2382 2382 and this is an authentic hadith the muhaddis asar the scholar of the present era sheikh nasiruddin albani rahmatullah has said it is sahih in his research the so, uh, sunan tirmizi hadith number 2382 abu hurara radhiyallahu anha is the narrator he says that messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam narrated to me that on the day of judgment allah most high will descend to his slaves to judge between them every nation will be kneeling every nation will be kneeling in front of allah rabbul alamin the first of those who will be called before him will be a man who memorized the quran that we say half is a quran and a man who was skilled in allah's cause and a wealthy man so these three people a memorizer a, mem- a memorizer of a quran that means the memorizer of the quran that is a hafiz of quran a martyr a man who was skilled in the cause of allah and a wealthy man a rich man who used to give a lot of charity like sadqa khairat zakat and so many things allah will say to the reciter the person who was a hafiz of quran did i not teach you what i revealed to my messenger he says of course oh lord he says then what did you do with what you learn he will say i would stand in the prayer reciting with it during all hours of the night and all hours of the day such a huge deed just imagine a hafiz of quran day and night he is reciting glorious book day and night then allah rabbul alamin would say to him you have lied and the angels will say you have lied rab and the angels both will say respectively that you have lied allah will say to him rather you wanted it to be said that so and so is a reciter that means that person what he wanted to be called as a reciter to be called as a hafiz to be called as with a great noble names in this world that why uh, why he wanted like this because he was a riyakar what is a riyakari what is riyakari riyakari means showing off what is showing off when a person does not do a good deed for the sake of allah rabbul izzat but for the sake of the human beings so that the people will come and people will praise him people will call him with great names when he will go in any uh, meeting or gathering the people will give him the prime seat and he will be sitting there and he will be having uh, all kind of benefits of the worldly life but his intention was not pure that's why allah says in surah al asr also wal asr innal insana lafi khusr illa allazina amanu wa amilu salihat wa tawassu bil haqq wa tawassu bis sabr only those people are going to be cherishing in the hereafter who have the faith and they do amilu salihat the deeds that are going to be accepted and one of the prime point a deed to be accepted is it has to be pure from showing off it should be pure for allah rabbul izzat only so allah and his angels will say you have lied and allah will say to him rather you wanted it to be said that so and so is a reciter and that was said the person with the wealth will be brought and allah will say to him was i not so generous with you such that i did not leave you having any need from anyone he will say of course oh my lord he says then then allah will say then what did you do with what i gave to you that person will say i would 
nurture the ties of kinship and give charity then allah will say to him you have lied and the angels will say to him you have lied allah most high will say rather you wanted to be said that so and so is so generous and that was said so the sec- so the second person who came here first was a hafiz of quran and second was second person came he is actually a wealthy person he had a lot of wealth and he also gave for the sake uh, for the sake of allah no he also gave the charity for the sake of his own name and allah will say you have lied and the angels will say he have lied so first a reciter was a riyakar show a, a person who used to show off and second is a wealthy person who used to give sadqa khairat but is still having an intention in his, in his heart that this is for not the sake of allah but the people should say me i am a wealthy man i am a generous man and so on then the one who was killed in allah's cause will be brought shall be brought and allah will say to him for what were you killed so he says i was commanded to fight in your cause so i fought until i was killed allah will say to him you have lied and the angels will say to him you have lied allah will say rather you wanted it to be said that so and so is brave and that was said the messenger of allah hit on my knees abu huraira is saying and said oh abu huraira these first three these first three are the creatures of allah with whom the fire will be inflamed on that day of judgment so these are the three person these are the three people one reciter one wealthy person and a martyr but all these three these three will go into the hell at first before the entire nation of the world and we think all these three acts are great acts alhamdulillah these three acts are the greatest acts but what happened because of these greatest acts were not done for the sake of allah even these great acts was of no good for the person on the day of resurrection so we get the information we get the message clear cut that all these three acts which are great acts in our eyes was nothing in lies of allah just because the person who committed these acts they are not doing this thing for the sake of allah but they were they have done for the sake of their own name so that's why we must try to do each and every act for the sake of allah only not for the sake of anyone because riyakari is mentioned as a minor shirk and allah says allah will never forgive shirk so riyakari or showing off is a minor shirk we must try to refrain ourselves from doing minor shirk as well as major shirk and always try to do each and every act for the sake of allah rabbul izzat in accordance with the sunnah of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah guide all of us and give us a blessed ending amin wa akhiru duana innal hamdulillahi rabbil alamin